Okay, now let's go and try to work on the command for creating a new directory. So last time we did use the MD. So if we try to type MD, you would see it's a way for you to create a new directory inside of our current directory uh, depending on the commands or set of commands that you will be making. So let's say for example I want to go to CD uh, documents and then DIR, CLS, DIR, let me just clear that first and we have our test directory one here and I would want to create a directory inside of the test directory one so let's go test directory one directory so we have notepad test one notepad test one and again you can create a folder by using the new folder creation here now let's try to do that process let's say for example I'll have a new test folder one so that's test folder one if I go and clear this directory we have the test folder one there and now let's go create make the IR test folder 2 and you would see on our graphical user interface we were able to create a test folder 2 and if we also do the MD test folder 3 and you would see it was able to also create a new directory in our uh, parent directory which is the test directory 1 now we have a test folder 1 test folder 2 test folder 3 and we use two different commands which is the make directory or mkdir and the md uh, command for us to be able to do those additional folders or to create some of the additional folders here now let's try to go inside of the test folder 1 test folder 1 we know that there will be no content here let me just clear that let's go inside here and I would want to go and create let's say a test subfolder 1 test subfolder 2 test subfolder 3 and so what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to type mkdir uh, let's say I would want to have test subfolder one then I would want to have make directory test subfolder one then I want to have a backslash and I want to have a test subfolder two let me just increase that let's see what will happen inside of our test subfolder 1 we now have a test subfolder 2 okay so what I did in this command if we try to analyze it I use the make directory command I type test subfolder 1 which is the current directory from where uh, or, or I created uh, I maximize the use of this test subfolder uh, path and then I created a new directory inside of that folder so if I go to test directory 1 test folder 1 we have test subfolder 1 now and we have inside of that test subfolder 2 and if I go and try to do this make directory I would want to first go and create a test or let's say uh, I would want to refer to test subfolder 1 then I want to refer to test subfolder 2 and inside of test subfolder 2 I want to create a test subfolder 3 test subfolder 3 and if I type that if I do the IR I can see test subfolder 1 if I go inside of that test subfolder 1 will have test subfolder 2 and if I go in inside of that test subfolder 2 and I try to dir that or run the dir command you would see that we have the test subfolder 3 so that means inside of the subfolder we now have test subfolder 3 inside of the test subfolder 2 okay so that's one of the ways on how you can nest a number of directories inside of a directory using the make directory um, 
command you are able to create a number of directories or subfolders through using the following format okay and there's an easier way to do this so i just wanted to show you the the let's first move up move up or let's say just let's go to cd uh, seed users i'm just going to use an absolute path uh, ie user and then documents i know that we have test directory one and i want to go to test folder two okay so that's an empty folder so that just that will be here and i want to do the same exercise that we did however i'll just make it a lot easier for all of us by making the same process by make dir and then i would want to have test sub folder one test sub folder two i'm oh, sorry that should not be pipe <laughs> so let's go and and test sub folder three so let's see what will happen if we do all of this line one line we don't have any folders yes yet in test folder two but i just created a number of subfolders inside of test folder two subfolder one test subfolder two test subfolder three for the test folder two okay so let's see what will happen if i try to run this and you would see that we now have test subfolder one we have test subfolder two and test subfolder three and that's just through one line that we have created uh, using the make directory command here so that's a very fast way of creating subfolders inside of a folder uh, we did it the long way and we created also the shorter way or the shortcut or the faster way by writing down all of the folder names that we would want to be inside of the current folder from where we are and using the make directory command to create three folders that will be a nested we have the parent test of folder one then the child test folder two then the child test subfolder three that are nested or that are uh, directories that were created inside of each of the parent directory here the parent directory will be the test folder two then we have a subdirectory which is the uh, test subfolder one and it has a child uh, directory which is the test subfolder two and it has a child subdirectory which is the test subfolder three okay so i hope you got some ideas with regards to how to maximize the use of the make directory command on how you can go create subfolders and folders inside of the command prompt and that's it and that i'll see you on the next video